Hello everyone, my name is Jager BR and welcome to Peridium. So this is a it's a free-to-play game on Game Joy. You play as a scientist studying a rare fungal bacteria in Antarctica with your wife. And it had taken Lauren first, though we didn't know it then. And everything didn't understand the dead look in her eyes. That unnatural, wooden, lurching motion as she moved about the lab. Of course, it was too late when I learned to read the signs. Most of the crew were in its power already. And I'd paid a terrible price for my blindness. Was I the last? I could hear their footsteps on the snow outside my cabin. Leaden steps, moving as one. Not safe here. I'll make for the lab. from the gaping hole in my stomach. That could have gone better. Dr. Turner, open up! My eyes, swimming. I almost black out again. Come on, Jim. There's nothing to worry about. Harris. Open this fucking door, James. Or whatever it is that's living in his body now. I clenched my teeth against another wave of agony. Keep it together. First things first. Gotta get this bleeding under control. Alright, so it's definitely got the narration. Can I no open use door? opening it. Uh. Nothing human out there for a thousand Ks. Jim! Come on, Jim! Open the door! I promise everything will be okay, mate, alright? Harris was a good bloke. Shit. Open the fucking door! I can't stand listening to that thing out there. What, what if I'm the only one The door who's stuck affected? fast. Need something to lever it. No time to mess with that. I like that. Anything that a I rusty can click screwdriver on. rattled around in the toolbox. Oops. It's nothing interesting. There's nothing special about it. A collection of papers on the ancient fungi, buried deep beneath the ice. With the better part of our lives together. I'd never finish now. But perhaps I can pass on the torch. Okay. The door stuck fast. Nothing remarkable. There's nothing else useful. Well, can I use this? Do I have an inventory button? Ah, uh, okay, it's up here. So I have a gun, a screwdriver, and my switch. I leave her at the door with the screwdriver, but it's too small to be of any use. Alright then. Let's look at this barrel. I can't think of a use for it. I'll leave it alone. So we got the one Found some mean looking wire cutters. I think I need it. Found a small blowtorch. There's nothing else useful. There's nothing. There's nothing. Right. Locked. Well, what kind of lock is it? Uh, is it a blowtorch kind of lock, or fire cutters kind of lock, or a screwdriver? They don't work together. You can't do it. It's not going to work. Can't use it on itself. That's not going to help. Alright, so right clicking gets rid of that. Okay, Wilkins. What you got for me? Kneeling down over the body, I noticed the telltale, inhuman signs on his face. He was also wearing one of those armbands I'd noticed on the others. Oh, God. The stench coming off him. 
almost losing consciousness again, but desperate, I persist. I find the key in his jeans pocket. Looking at the radio, my heart sinks. A stray bullet had smashed right through it. Shit. Best leave her. She's running fine. Right, so nothing with the furnace. Let's see now. Grab him. So I got an armband and a key. So I'll lock this cat. The lock clicks open. The My eyes flit key. hungrily past morphine, antibiotics, bandages. Someone had been storing lab samples in here again. Strictly forbidden, but the lab fridge had been on the fritz for weeks. The sample caught my eye. Thin, scarlet membranes stretched over a pulsating, bulbous growth. Ah! I wave away the cloud of crimson spores. Eyes, nostrils, throat burning. I cough, and the action triggers a dagger of pain from my wound. Still, I manage not to black out, and at least the cabinet's open. Morphine would only slow my mind, so clenching my teeth to suppress screams of agony, I injected some penicillin around the wound before bandaging it up. I'm, I'm done with it. Right, so we still have a... What do we have? There's a blue torch on the barrel. Don't want to waste fuel. I don't want to waste fuel. Alright, that's not how it Just They hold. don't work together. Where's the key for both things? It's not locked, but the door's stuck. Let's see. I don't know what else I can use. What do you say about screwdriver? I'll leave her at the door with the screwdriver. But it's too small to be of any use. So that's too small. Just out of curiosity, do I blow towards the door? Making Don't the other side. Waste fuel. Nope. I shove the barrel under the wire. Get some Can't wire. reach. Stand on the barrel. Reaching up to cut the wire, I feel something brush against my mind. Vast and terrible. That mere fleeting whisper of contact. A freight train roaring through my consciousness. I think he's going crazy. I was drowning. From deep beneath my mind, I could feel that force animating my limbs like a monstrous puppeteer. Lungs burning, I struggled to the surface. Um, cut those wire. Not the right solution. Oh. God, was that what the others had felt? I thought he'd known. I've got to get help. So, do we have a wire now? Okay, good. I don't know what to use that for, but it's my wire. Uh, I can go. Or no. No, I can't go. The door stuck. F Let's see. Can I use the wire? Can't do it. No, I don't. It's not important. There's nothing else useful. Not going near it again. 
Sound of Camel. Blowtorch on the wire is not going to work. I just put the arm to the wall. Can't do it. Can he, can he just kill himself? No. The gun's empty. Oh, well, you could have said that. The gun's empty. Oh, I feel like I'm here. The gun's empty. Best lever. I can't use the wire to fix the radio, can I? That won't work. Thing again. Okay. No, There's nothing. Nothing there. Shell is longer. I do not see what I am missing. No use opening it. Nothing human out there for. like most of the items. It's not going to work. Can't do it. Yes, that's what they it. don't work together. It should. That's not gonna help. Stab. Can't bear to go near the th can't stab the shit out of Wilkins. So we have a monitor over here. They don't work together. I don't know what she wants. It's not going to work. Alright. A walkthrough was provided with the game, so let's see if that's something else. I see what I missed. Using the screwdriver. Despite the tremor in my fingers, I've managed to undo the screws. Now that it's open. Snipping away the fused wiring, I have a vision collecting fusiform stem samples with my wife. Her laughter. This wire. Let's see. Should be working now. I grabbed the receiver. This is Dr. James Turner from Station Theta 661. Do you copy? The welcome sound of a friendly voice. Oh, thank God. I need evac ASAP. There's been something horrible has happened. Yep. Tell the crew, do not land until they see. Repeat, do not land until they see Dr. Parker. Copy, over and out. Thank God for that. Wavering on my feet, exhausted, I sink to the floor to wait. Sleep falls like a lead curtain. I snap awake. Something very wrong. The cold. My mind. My body stiff and numb. The pain like hot lead being poured over my hands. My feet. My face. Does it sound comfortable now? I struggle to move my limbs, tearing myself away from the frozen floor. And fire went out. Tearing up a decade of work, I throw it in. And the light. The page is lit. I stand close until feeling returns to my face. 
I'll lose some fingers, but I'm alive. For now. Is that the evac chopper? That time. There's nothing to... Maybe it froze open. The door's stuck fast. Can I use that man? That's not gonna help. I just gotta make sure. I... The instruction don't tell you how to open that lock. It's quiet out there. Don't go. I'm turning the wheel when I hear shouts and bodies slam into the other side. I throw myself at the door, but too late. Their worm-like arms twisting their way in. Oh God, don't know how long I can hold it. I got a blowtorch. I almost dropped the blowtorch trying to light it, but it flares to life and I hold it against the arm wielding that knife. I almost drop it again as the smell of burning hair and pork crackling fills my nostrils. Screams from outside and the knife clatters on the floor. I make a lunge for the knife. Alright, so now I got a knife, so let's cut. Wielding the cool hunk off. of steel, I shut my eyes and start hacking. The muffled screams from behind the door, the sticky warmth splashing on my arms. Finally, I feel the door slam close behind my back. It had worn the same armband. They all did once they turned. So I got two armbands. Let's see if we can open the lock. Full box of cartridges inside. Finally. Because I'm smart, we're gonna load the gun. Maybe I don't need to. It's loaded, and I'm ready as I'll ever be. Alright, so I can't think of anything else that's in here. Um. No time to mess with that. So I'm gonna go outside. Weapon shaking in my hand. I swung the heavy door open. He's coming out. Jim, put it down. Look, Ben's here. No. Dad, it's me. I'm coming in. No. Mum called before. She... I just got in. No, Ben. Get out of here. Run. Dad, put the gun down. They... They killed Kathy, Ben. Dad, it was an accident. They... they told me what... Look, it wasn't your fault. Dad, what are you doing? I... can't fight it... much longer. Dad, you need help. Please. Drop the gun, Jim. It's your son, for fuck's sake. Can't think. Are you... one of them now, too? <gasps> what? Hmm. Oh, I can shoot him or myself. Hands shaking. Every synapse in my infected mind urging me to pull the trigger. Um. Plan to the delusions or kill yourself? Please! Kill your son or kill yourself? Could I have been wrong? But I want to. Any other last. What? I'm so tired. Can you decide for me? Dad. Kill yourself? Kill Ben. Ah, uh, such a hard choice. And exhausted. I let it take me. Especially. Sad thing is, all that work and effort into making a decision, and now I'm going to replay it just to make the other decision. So let's see. So overall, the game had some great writing. Everything was that technical described, and the voice acting was terrific. 
Oh. Take him for processing. So I made the wrong choice? Oh, it closed out on me. Alright, so, I, be I believe my gun is loaded, and I'm ready to go outside. This time we're gonna, sh we're gonna shoot Ben. Can't fight it. Shoot him. Shoot him. Alright. I hope there's another after credits scene for this person. Alright, so it seems in this choice, Ben is still a bad person. Or possessed, infected person. I don't know what exactly to call him. Oh, John and Ben. Or no, his name was Jim. Never mind. Anyway, it seemed like he was still infected, so let's see if that turns out to be true. Hey, crew, the new radiation monitor bands arrived this morning. Please see you off to get yours. We've tired to wear them at all times. I know it's annoying, but health and safety and all that. Cheers, Samantha. All right. Okay, so the answers to the game. Kill yourself and it turns out you really there really was a fungus outbreak. Or kill your son and it turns out everybody had to wear these for safety reasons. Either way, that was a good short game. I don't I mean, like, I caught up on the one puzzle with the radio, but I don't know why I didn't think to unscrew it before working on it. But, fun game. Link down in the description below if you want to go play it for yourself. And let's see, the video on the left side of your screen is a video that YouTube thinks you'll like, and the video on the right side is the last video that I upload. Or you can click my icon in the middle and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!